Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday, the middle of July, and I am at my friend Connie's place. Well, her camp. She works at a, a, a camp, Christian camp. She's a cook, head or food coordinator. She's a head cook, basically. She plans all the menus and and uh, helps with the cooking and all that. And her son is the is the CEO of the campground, and also they they have campgrounds all over the United States, and they do events for kids, uh, group activities. You can weddings, all kinds of stuff. But anyways, um, I'm I just got here yesterday, and Salem is relaxing nice not to be hot and he can be outside he's supervising me i'm cleaning my van out uh let me show you what i've done so far okay first of all i took everything out of here and vacuumed and stuck it back in that's what i've done so far it's just the middle and got all the garbage out emptied his litter box there was litter everywhere. Um, I'm going to have to, when I get home, I'm going to have to get more of these storage bins right here and put all this stuff, boom, in storage bins like that. Because when he kicks the litter, it gets in everything. Yeah, Salem. <laughs> Talking about you. Okay, so anyways. Um, just to show you a couple things. I got some things organized. Like all my auto stuff is in this cart right here. Uh, my detecting stuff is in here. Um, I've got miscellaneous crap in here. Some CDs. I need to get a new, a, a more CD things. This is my miscellaneous catch all. Uh, this is my panning kit, gold panning. Now, when I was in Burnt River, I panned out the dirt that I had bought online from Amazon, and I did get some gold. I tried out my sluice. It worked. Um, I think I lost a little bit, but I got most of it. So, that's done. But while I was there, I picked up some more dirt at Burnt River. I took it from the river, the river's edge. And let's see how it's doing. I haven't even opened it up since I shoveled it out. Oh, it looks good. Okay, so I need to pan this stuff and see if I can find any gold. And if I do, I'm going to be so excited. I don't care if it's a micro flake. Because it will be the first bit of gold that I have found. Not bought for, paid for. I mean, so, anyways... Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay. So, I try to keep everything in compartments because then I can find it. The first month, it was really bad. I was misplacing everything. This is catnip, by the way. Not pot. Okay. Um, this is his little scratching thing. He loves it. He sits on it. Okay. This is Salem's box. He's got all his food and treats and toys in there. Catnip. Okay, this is my little quart cooler. This thing is great. It will keep ice for approximately three days in there. Oops, hold on, Salem. I think he wants to go back to the area. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Inspecting, huh? You gonna go inside? You can't go in there. I got too much stuff in there. You can't go in that way. <sighs> Do you want to go back in? Here, I'll pick you up and put it, put you in. Mommy's gonna go in there anyways in a minute. Oh. Whoops. There you go. <laughs> I still got some more organizing to do quite a bit, but I want to show you what I've done. Okay, I've got this thing. I got to adjust it. It keeps slipping, um, but it's great for hanging stuff on. I got all my food 
in these three bins along with some other stuff. Uh, these are all my dishes down here. Miscellaneous stuff is in here. Uh, I have some books. Let me go around, show you what I've done on the inside. Oh, I should go the other way. It's easier. And tomorrow I am going to explore this camp uh, and bring my metal detector and I'm going to show Connie how to metal detect too. Okay, see that stone house right there? That is from 1842 and it used to be a toll bridge or toll house where they collected fees to move on as you travel. So there may be a bunch of old coins out in front of that house. And I got permission from Connie's son, who's in charge of everything, to go ahead and metal detect it tomorrow. Oh God, he's already coming back out. And of course I'll be very careful because it is a historical building, but I'm really excited because this is gonna be the first one I've gotten permission to do. You wanna go back over there? All right, hold on. I love this tie up because then I can move it around and then I can do things while he's enjoying things. Here, come on, let's go back over here. I had him tied up over here earlier and he was sniffing something. You wanna come back over here or not? Where do you wanna go? <laughs> okay. You like this spot and there's no poison ivy over here. I found out, I'll show you in a minute. There's poison ivy right next to the van. In case you guys don't know what poison ivy looks like. Well, there's a patch over there. This plant right here, that's poison ivy. I'm allergic to it. So I'm trying to keep him away. Uh, I'll be lucky if I don't catch it um, here, but I don't care. This is a nice shady tree. I love the tree. It was really hot yesterday when we came in and it was had been raining and as soon as I got in it stopped raining and it started steaming. Literally, it was so humid and hot. Okay, so let me show you guys some more stuff here. I have to vacuum up here. That's the next project I'm going to do and then I'm going to pull this out cuz this pulls out and I and I'm going to take the air filter out of here and I'm gonna beat the crap out of it. So you guys can watch me do that too. Oh, I really need, oh my God, what a mess. Oh, I found this, this is pretty cool. Uh, I had it on the, uh, fine, I'll put it right there for now. I haven't had to use the air on him in a while. Oh, by the way, my computer is acting freaking crazy and I, I I may have screwed it up I'm not too happy about it right now but I can't do anything on the computer right now that's all right I got things to do here okay so I cleaned his cat box that's his cat box um these are all rocks in here and miscellaneous stuff rocks rocks or no spices and miscellaneous stuff in there I got my Essentials here for grooming. Look at this big pile of rocks. Oh, there's the bags. Great. Rocks. That's all rocks. All the bigger ones. I'll have to show you guys those one day. We'll pull them out and I'll show you guys what I picked up on my travels. Okay, here's my little vacuum. This thing's great. I charged it up in the house yesterday. Uh, oh, look at this. Just disgusting. Uh, Alright. Okay, so anyways, I got my battery back there. I took the towel that was underneath it out. Um, I've hung up the big pots and pans. I'm still missing some stuff. Now this I'm gonna have to totally reorganize. But I did, um, I've got 
this net for miscellaneous clothes and stuff. All my uh, underwear and socks are in here. My computer bag. I'm not. Ma I'm not happy with my computer right now. I don't want to even touch it. My pills are in here and um, also garbage bags are in here. My other bathroom stuff and first aid is all in here. Uh, clothes. Oh, and I got this great idea from somebody else uh, that was doing an interview on a YouTube video. And she puts all her clothes in pillowcases, you know, decorated pillowcases. So it looks like pillows. And she's got her van full of pillows. It's all clothes in there. So I may do that. I may start doing that because that would be nicer and it'd be a little bit easier to handle. My sawdust for my Lugaloo. This is my coffee bag and I have all my coffee supplies in here. Check this out. All my coffee supplies, my cream, my coffee, my sugar, my filters are in there and my filter holder. So I always know where my coffee stuff is. I'm telling you, it was a, the first two months, it's still disorganized, and I'm working on it, but, so, anyways, so that's what I've done so far, uh, hanging up some clothes, I got my walk hanging, hanging there, I vacuumed all in here, this was a mess, so the next project I'm going to do is right here, and then I'm going to go in the back and do some work, let me go check on Salem, Wait, this is bad enough.